Dr. Gavin Parker's introduction to RPAP came very early in his medical career. The Winnipeg native was studying medicine at the University of Alberta when he attended an RPAP medical skills event in Hinton. A chance meeting with a doctor in denim jeans, who was returning from a routine lunch hour walk with his dog, made Dr. Parker realize there was a more balanced lifestyle to be enjoyed as a rural practitioner. I'd never seen a doctor in blue jeans, and B, I'd never seen one that could so easily leave the hospital during a regular workday, having only trained in the urban centers. So that impressed me. With every rural rotation he participated in during his medical school clerkship, his desire to practice rural medicine grew stronger. Upon graduating from medical school, Dr. Parker entered the RPAP-sponsored Alberta Rural Family Medicine Residency Program, which solidified his decision to practice in rural Alberta. Every time I would do a surgery or obstetrics or internal medicine or psychiatry rotation, I didn't want to stop doing any of that. After completing his residency at the University of Calgary, Dr. Parker pursued a practice in Pincher Creek, where he has now served over 10 years as a local family physician. One of the things Dr. Parker loves about being a rural physician is the diversity of skills he and his colleagues are able to use on a daily basis in a rural setting. It's a really good mix. It's something that lets you keep all your skills sharp. Patients are very well cared for in the community and you really feel like it's easy to take ownership uh, over you know, the role of, of helping people with their health care. Dr. Parker's love for rural practice extends to his community. He and his wife Jennifer, an elementary school teacher, are very active within Pincher Creek. In addition to raising their three children, they involve the whole family in the Barracuda Judo Club, where Dr. Parker and Jennifer are instructors. He loves it here, and I noticed that was one of the biggest barriers for any rural provider, doctor, nurse, whomever, is, is their spouse, is their partner going to be happy living and working in that rural community? And something we, we paid a lot of attention to when we looked for a place to live. The Parkers also love the great outdoors, another reason why Pincher Creek appeals to them. We have a lot of really awesome things near us. You know, we have the um, Waterton Lakes National Park, which is a little bit of a hidden gem that's right next to us. You've got Head Smash and Buffalo Jump, the uh, United Nations World Heritage Site. Um, you have Frank Slide, which is not too far away. You're pretty close to the States. You're only a couple hours from Calgary, an hour from Lethbridge. So you really have everything that you, that you need here. Professionally, the community spirit is seen in the structure of the Pincher Creek Health Center, which houses the associate clinic in one of its wings. Dr. Parker is grateful for the support he has received from RPAP to upgrade his skills and meet the medical needs of his community. Programs such as the RCC BC Care Course and the Rural Physician Enrichment Program have helped Dr. Parker and his physician colleagues to continue their medical education while maintaining their medical practices. Dr. Parker is grateful to RPAP for the support he's received over the years and he enjoys giving back as a member of the RPAP Board of Directors. I've always felt a connection and, and a love for the organization. Like I said, it, it was, you know, that RPAP that saved me from a career in the city. I always joke. He is also happy to open the door to rural opportunities for incoming medical professionals whenever he can. We feel blessed to be part of this community and to, to give back as, as, uh, as much. So I guess at the end of it, if people felt that I, uh, I gave more than I took, then I think I'd be happy with that. Now, time for the big question. Is Dr. Parker a Flames fan or an Oilers fan? Yeah, so uh, I'm not allowed, I don't know if I'm allowed to uh, uh, use a third option, but I was born in Winnipeg, and so I am a pretty big Jets fan. 